Actor Jeff Daniels is starring in a new Broadway play, and usually that means that the big television networks bring the actor onto the morning talk shows to, well, talk about the play. But MSNBC decided to have him on to talk about politics instead, because celebrities always know what's best for the rest of us. In this moment in our politics, our children are watching. The children are watching, and, and I live in Michigan, and... Um... After the election, I was surprised at some of the people. You know, I said, can you believe this election? They go, yeah, isn't it great? And you're going, whoa, yeah. my wife's on Facebook. And he's going, oh, we got another Trumper. You know, and it's just, you didn't see it coming. <laughs> That's what happens when your neighbors are normal people, Jeff, like in the Midwest. Maybe you should go back to Hollyweird where you belong. Because you the, everybody, because your kids are looking up at you going, but he lies. And, and I think there are a lot of people in the Midwest who are going, it might be enough for them. We're going to find out if, it, you know, if the big gamble is to go all the way to November 2020, which I agree, and lose, it's the end of democracy. <laughs> It'll be the end of democracy if President Trump wins again. He says, actually, sir, we're a constitutional republic, but we shouldn't expect anything else from a guy who is literally best known for being dumber. The economy has been booming. Unemployment is at record lows for blacks, Mexicans, veterans, for everybody. But if he's reelected again, he's going to ruin the country. Is there anything else dumb you would like to say? That's when I see the lies spewing at these people and people going, I got to believe in something. And he said he'd bring my manufacturing job back and she didn't. And I'm all in. But at the end of the day, aside from, yeah, I don't want to pay taxes. It's race. It's race. This is about this is about the Republican Party or a wing of it going, this is our last chance to save the party. And if we don't, it's the end of the Republican Party. And the only way they can do that was to tap the race button and say, go ahead, it's okay. And he did. And they did. And that was the only card they had left to play, and they played it. And they aren't going to go quietly. Speaking of race, it's the Democrat Party which is terrified that so many black people are becoming Republicans. Because if they just lose 15 or 20 percent of the black voters, the Democrat Party is the one which will be finished. Oh, speaking of predictions about the end of the Republican Party, remember this? So Donald Trump will lose, and he will then destroy the Republican Party. <laughs> the frightening question is what he will do to the country in the process. I guess that's why they call your network the most trusted name in news. Hey, Fareed? The liberal establishment is so concerned about black people walking away from the Democrat Party that Facebook just suspended Candace Owens for a post that she made encouraging them to do just that. After word of her seven-day suspension started making headlines, Facebook reactivated her page and said it was just another mistake. Just a mistake. Thankfully, Breitbart has a source or multiple sources within Facebook and in Google who have been leaking internal documents to them for the last several months. And the latest leak shows that Facebook has Candace Owens listed as a hate agent. Breitbart reports that Facebook maintains a list of <laughs> hate agents for monitoring and potential termination, according to a source within the company. Among the names reportedly on the list, star, pundit, and black conservative activist, Candace Owens. A screenshot obtained by Breitbart of Facebook's internal dashboard for Candace Owens' page lists an extra credit notation which says, we should look into these after we're done with the above designation analysis. The source confirmed to Breitbart that that designation means that there is an active investigation going on into the individual as they comb through her posts and her past and other interviews on other platforms trying to find a reason to ban them. Let us recall also that back in February, Project Veritas obtained a couple of documents from one of their Facebook sources, which showed that the company had labeled Lauren Chen, formerly known as Roaming Millennial, as a troll because she red pills the normies to convert them to her worldview. Because they're getting such negative publicity from all the increasingly Orwellian bans, they may ease off on the total ban and just tweak the algorithm even more to dump everything that any conservative social media influencer posts down the memory hole so nobody sees it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and if you guys enjoy watching my videos, I think you really love one of my books. So I hope you order a copy of The True Story of Fake News in paperback from Amazon.com or download the ebook from any of the major ebook stores. You'll find that it's a lot more serious and in-depth than these sort of short and fun, sarcastic YouTube videos. 
And the book is more relevant every day, even though it was out in 2017. Your purchase helps keep this channel going, so I appreciate your support, guys. And I hope you guys will click some of the links in the description below to sponsor the channel through Patreon and PayPal, or head on over to my online store and get one of my awesome shirts. Of course, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well.